Welcome to Pixel Composer tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you about Array in Pixel Composer. So Array is a concept in programming, which means a set or a list of number, list of values. In the most basic form, you can, for example, drag in multiple image from your file explorer into the interface. And you can see that you can import multiple image as image array, right? Clicking on this, we will have this node. If you double click on it, you will see that this node contain an array or it contain multiple image. And one thing you notice is that the junction itself, each junction colors would mean different data type. This pink would mean it's an image. If you have, for example, a number, then it's either gonna be yellow or orange, right? It's also a different colors that I will show on screen right now. But one thing is the inside. If the inside is like this dark gray, this means it's a non-array values. But if the inside is, is filled, or if it's filled with color, like this and this, it means that there is an array, it's an array values. So one thing you can do is you can hold shift and then you can hover on the junction to preview the value in that junction. And as you can see here, this junction contains an array of image. It also contains an array of part. The simplest thing you can do with the array of value is you can set it to a different node, right? For example, outline, then to outline node. And just like that, we add outline to each of the array, right? And you can export the array by sending this array of surface to an export node. So now you set type to multiple image, but if you press export, you will see that only one image gonna show up. And that's because you set the name, the name are all the same. So it just override, it just save on top of each other. So in this export node, there is this template guides, and you can see here, you can add percentage I to indicate array index. So we can add percentage I and then export it again. Now you will see that you have multiple image, right? Export 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is a really simple pipeline for array operation. So most of the node in Pixel Composer does support array operation. As you can see, this icon, it means that this node is what we call an array processor. So if it has this icon, that means any of this value could be an array. The next step would be an array manipulation. Like for example, if you have multiple nodes like this and you want to combine it into an array from this full image, you can create array node like this and then you can just plug in the values one by one. And when you hold shift, you will see that it become an array. Or you can select all of them and then you right click and here you can see array from node. You can also control shift A and it will just combine all the output to an array. Inside the array node itself, you can also define the type, but you can just set it to any. It will just change the type based on input. So one thing to be aware of is that not every array value will display as an array junction. When you create some type of data, for example, when you create vector two, you can see that the junction itself is not actually an array, right? It is this dark gray junction, right? But when you hold shift, you will see that the value is actually an array. And the reason that this vector two is not an array because it's a different data type. It's a vector two data type. And another type of data that actually an array but doesn't show up as an array is color palette. And you create color palette like this, and you add multiple color inside, right? It will not show up as an array. But because it is an array underneath, when you connect it to a non-array values, you will see that it will just create an array of different colors. So what can you do with an array? By right-clicking and go to the values, you will see all the nodes related to an array manipulation, right? We already go through this array node, which create an array, array from any type of values. Technically, you can mix multiple data type in one array. You can do this, although it's not really recommend. It's really it's an easy way to crash the program. <laughs> I mean, you can mix in, like for example, an integer value and floating point value. You can create an array, two array, and then you can put them in an array again. As you can see here, you create an array of array. One use case for array of array is actually a scatter. If you go to the distribution, there is this direct data, which allows you to send in array of array inside it. Right? Which allows you to control like each individual object. Now, technically, this array of array is the same thing as array of vector two. It just interpret the same way. And then the next node we have here is array range. This node will allow you to generate or create array 
by giving the range. Here it says for start from zero and add 10 with a step of one. So you create 11 member array from zero to 10. And I think important note is array app. So this allows you to add member into an array itself. Like for example, if you have this node, right, which is already an array, if you send this node to an array, and then you try to have another image inside. Now, while you hover on this, it will say that you have six image. You can see in this dimension values, this is actually an array of array. So it's a two array with the first member size of five. And when you try to use it, nothing gonna happen. If you want to add member into an array, you have to use array add instead. So the first value is an array. So you can fit in an array. And then the value, other values, you can just set it in like this. Right now, as you can see, it will create an array size of six and it will show all the six image. And if you use this, it will work just fine. Right, the original array and the new member. Array add can also merge two array together. So let me create another array. You can also send array to an array add and it will just combine all the value together. Next one is array link. Array link is simple. You just send an array to it and it will just output the length of that array. So this array have 10 members. The array get and array set, as the name suggests, it used to get values or set the value of an array. So for example, you can set an array to array get, even an index, right? Like five, just gonna give you the image index of five. Now an array in Peaceful Composer start at zero. So at index zero is gonna be the first one. One more thing you can do with array get is to actually accept an array. So like for example here, we have array range of zero to two with step size of one. So we have array of 0, 1, and 2. You send this to an array get. You're going to get a new array with a value index 0, 1, and 2 inside it. Array set. This one will allow you to set the value inside an array by giving it the index that you want to change. Like for example, 0, and then give the value that you want to set it to. Now, as you can see, the 0 index of that area now changed. And again, array set also support array of index. So now if we have this array, range from 0 to 10, so right, send it to an index values. And you can see, it will not change the 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 index into the new image. Or, if you have another image array now, you send it to array set, it will match the index with each member in this array. And now you are setting, you know, the, the, the index 0 to the first image, the index 2 to the second image, so on and so forth. Then we will have the array fine allow you to find a specific index value inside an array. So this array file are more likely to be used with like an array of number than array of surface. Like for example, if we have number, right? We have zero to 10, and then we want to find some values and you send it in the class A. The value for is index number two in this array. Then the last three is just a way to rearrange the array. So we have reverse and shuffle which as the name suggests, you send in an array and it will just shuffle. And then we have sort array, which doesn't work with a surface because it doesn't know how to sort a surface. This one is used with array of number. Right, and because palette is also an array of color as well, you can also use shuffle array to shuffle the palette. Right, or you can use array reverse to reverse the palette. Now you can also use sort palette or sort array, but the sorting order will be kind of weird. If you want to sort a palette, there is a special node for that called sort palette, which have different algorithm made for palette. And that's all the node related to array. The next thing I want to cover is array combination or the array processor itself. So in version 1.5.13.3, there will be option for you to set how this array processor will deal with array values. Like for example, by default, if you have an array of an image, array of surface, and then you have array of color as a palette, right? And then you plug it in both of them. What it does is that it will kind of like spread out the values, right? So now as you can see, the first image matched with the first color, the second image matched with the second color, the third one matched with the third color, the fourth one, the fourth, the fifth one, the fifth. And if the length of the palette is shorter, then we will just repeat. So it's like I see red, green, uh, yellow, and then red and green back again. So this is a behavior in the older version. Now in the newer version in 1.13.3, there is an option here in the inspector that allow you to select what to do with multiple array. So you can set it to loop by default loop, right? If you set it to whole, 
it's gonna hold large value. The interesting thing is here, yeah, the new feature here is the expand. If you select expand, and you can see the number of output increased instantly. In this dimension, we go from five output into 15 output. And that 15 is come from this five image and three color multiply together. And you can see here what it does is it will just run through every combination of the array, right? So this can be really powerful and it can be really slow as well. It will have a lot of image. Be careful about this feature. Like we can even add more values. Again, vector is also an array. So if you set this to the width values, you're just gonna create even more combination now. We have 30 different images now of all the image, all the color and all the thickness. Right? And the next option you can have here is for expand inverse. This will just related to the order of the array. This feature is making it even easier for you to automate this, you know, image generation or like sprite variant or stuff like that. So there are actually like a whole 10 minute section here where I talk about array arithmetic. I found that to be a little bit too technical and the video is already long enough. So let's cut to the end for now. If you have any questions, you can put in the description. For now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.